it's just a little bit like, I don't know what to do with this. You know what I mean? Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my June Ipsy bag and Boxy Charm here for you today. So I'm gonna do a little combined video. So as usual, I've gone ahead and opened these up. I've tried out the goodies inside. I have some thoughts on the goodies. I've tried out most everything except for I think one product. So yeah, got some thoughts. I'm gonna run through the different products, let you know what I think about them and do a little unboxing mini review video. So let's get into it. So starting off with BoxyCharm, this is a little card that's in there, super cute. It says Downtown Charm. So that is adorable. So first off, I got some masks in here. There were three of them. I've tried out one of them so far. Let's see what it says about this. It says three sheet masks by Biabelle Cosmetics, retail price $14.97. Says Biabelle's sheet masks give your skin an instant boost while deeply hydrating and evening your skin tone, revealing gorgeous glowing skin. Biabelle's award-winning tensile fiber adheres perfectly and delivers antioxidants to your skin faster and deeper. So I use this one, which is the, let's see, it says hashtag beauty secret. Moisturizes to help the skin appear smooth and firm. It says with pomegranate and hyaluronic acid. Seemed very nice, seemed like a nice um, sheet mask. It felt hydrating. It was kind of like a spa sort of an experience because it was nice. Um, this one I think I left on, yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. There was one that's like a shorter amount of time. I think it's this one that's supposed to be a primer. Um, it says five minutes and then the other one is 15 to 20. And this other one is, I woke up like this, enhances skin's natural glow. So that's super cute. I like sheet masks, so I thought this was cool to get this in the box. Next I got a brush. This is the Rose Gold Pro Precision Tapered Face Brush 640 by Luxie Beauty. It's a retail price of $24. It says sweep the complexion away with this tapered brush. Perfect for dusting away powders or applying highlighter. This brush screams versatility. So I've used this several times for highlighter. Um. I love the quality of it because I love Luxie brushes. I'm just not sure about the shape of this brush. It's so long and so bendy. It's almost like a little bit difficult to control, you know, like I was getting, like I feel like I have highlighter like really far across my face. So while I love the quality of it and I'm excited to get a brush in a box, especially Luxie brushes because I think they're awesome, um, this isn't my favorite shape of brush. So I'm glad I got it in the box but it's just not my favorite brush that I own because it's just a little bit like, I don't know what to do with this, you know what I mean? So if you have this brush, let me know some of your application and use techniques. Then there's an eyeshadow palette in here. This is by Real Her. This is the Real Her Playbook Shadow Palette One. It says this palette has richly pigmented hues and sexy combinations designed for all eye colors and skin tones. Delight in long wearing, crease resistant, fade resistant, buildable colors and textures ranging from velvety smooth mattes to metallic sheens. So I've used this a couple of times. I do have this on my eyes today. Um, I think this is pretty good, but I'm not sure that I love this palette, mainly just like I don't know. I don't feel like the texture of the shadows is like super duper amazing. Um, it's, it's pretty good, but they just feel a little bit like dusty. I'm wearing this one, this middle color on my lid today. Um, I don't know. They're just kind of some of those shadows that really like have a hard time kind of like building up it seems. Um, so it's not terrible but I'm just not blown away by it. Does it say how much it retails for? Retails for $28. So, you know, that's not, that's not terrible, but um, I'm excited it was in the box because I got to try it. And I'm always excited about eyeshadow, but just not my favorite shadows I've ever tried. So, and I've tried them with um, MAC Fix Plus and that definitely helped them. Like that's what I did on my lids today. I first tried to apply it. Um, I have just my bronzer in my crease. So that matte color in my crease is my bronzer. Um, so I tried applying it dry and then I use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and that helps it a little bit, but I'm still not blown away by it. Now onto the stuff that I really love. So this is the Diamond Glow Powder by Artist Couture. It's a retail price of $26.99. It says this shimmering powder packs a high glow with a gorgeous sheen suitable only for true glow getters. 
This all natural loose powder is finely milled for flawless application. With versatility and use, it is suitable for light to dark skin tones. This product can be used on your face to highlight or on your eyes, lips, and body. So I have used this multiple times, already included it in a Friday Favorites because I love it. Have it on my cheekbones today, probably like all over my face because I'm still learning that brush, but it's just beautiful. It's like a champagne -y gold color. I don't know if I have enough in here to be able to show you. I'm trying to get enough here to show you a good swatch because it's one of those like twisty, you know, dealies. So I'm trying to like keep it not super messy. So I'm trying not to like get the little opening part too open. You know what I mean? The little turny deal. This is such technical talk here. <laughs> okay, so there it is. It's like a champagne gold. It's just beautiful. It's just a super like versatile sort of a highlight color. That's why I love it. It's really easy to blend. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I haven't used it on my eyes yet, but I bet it would be really pretty there too. So yes, I am loving that highlight. It's gorgeous. And the last thing in my boxy charm is a long lasting liquid lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics. Some of my very favorites. It's a retail price of $19.90. It says Ofra long lasting liquid lipstick is a one step full lip color that does not feather. This vibrant color will give you a vivacious new look. It is creamy and soft in texture, moisturizing the lips and creating a long lasting lipstick effect. No need to use lip liner. This liquid lipstick gives a beautiful edge to your lip look. This is the color Santa Ana. So here it is right here. It's like a beautiful, I don't know, red raspberry rose sort of a color, kind of like a combo of all of those. And I already mentioned this in a Friday Favorites and said this, that I feel like it's a, it's a statement lip, but it's not crazy, crazy bold because it's not like a neon or really, really dark. So I feel like it's just a, like a good way of like dipping your toe into a statement lip. You know what I mean? It's so pretty and it's girly. I just love it. I love these. They smell amazing. Like, oh my gosh, vanilla extract, almond, some kind of yummy vanilla-y sort of a dessert. It's awesome. Love these. They do transfer a little bit, but I love that about them because they're more comfortable because of that. They're more of like a moussey sort of a texture. So awesome formula, beautiful color. Love that. Okay, so I added up the value of my BoxyCharm this month and it is $113.86. So a really good box. Not my favorite one I've ever gotten, but still really good. Like I love, love the highlighter, love the liquid lipstick. I'm excited about getting eyeshadow and a brush and I like the sheet mask. So overall, a really good box. And now on to Ipsy. So this is the bag this month. Adorable. Now it is a canvasy sort of material, so I could see it getting dirty if you're not careful, but super cute. It has kind of like a Rocky Horror Picture Show sort of a vibe to it to me, just with the lips. Super, super cute. Now this is the card this month. It says volume up and then it says, Sorry, can't hear you. Better turn that dial way to the right. This month, Ipsy Volume Up challenges you to fearlessly express yourself. Be seen, be heard, shout your message from the rooftop. So, super cute. And with the lips, that's cute. Like, you know, let your voice be heard kind of a message. The first thing in here is a cleanser. This is what it looks like. This is by Vasanti. This is the Brighten Up Enzymatic Face Rejuvenator Exfoliating Cleanser enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. So dramatically improve your skin's texture to reveal softer, brighter, and younger looking skin. This powerful exfoliator mimics professional microdermabrasion results using 99% natural ingredients. So I did use this last night. Um, I remember I like, I liked the smell. Like kind of like a fresh sort of slightly herbally kind of a scent to it. So I liked the scent and it has really, really fine um, gritty things in it. So it really did feel like a microdermabrasion sort of a treatment and other microdermabrasion um, skincare products that I've used, it kind of felt like that. So really did feel like it like, you know, exfoliated my skin well. So I really did like this a lot. Skincare is never my favorite thing to get, but I liked this, so I'm not mad about getting it because it was good. This is the thing that I was not able to try because I have fake nails. This is the Koki Professional Nail Polish. And it says, it's like, um, I guess, free of, you know, different bad things, so that's really good. 
And as far as the color, it's like a really pretty bright color. The packaging is super cute on it too. So adorable packaging to it. This is the color Gone Rio. So it's a really pretty bright shade. So I'm not sure how the formula works, but it's a pretty color and pretty packaging. And I like that it's free of a lot of bad junk. Next I got an eyeliner and I do have this on today. So this is by Scone. It says insanely intense tattooed waterproof liner. And this is in jet black. So it's kind of like a, um, basically like a felt tip sort of an end to it. Um, it really doesn't have a whole lot of give, just a little bit, but it's more kind of like that marker sort of an end. So not my favorite um, end to a liquid liner. I prefer kind of like a mix between the two, like not a brush, but not a felt tip. I like it like kind of a combo of the two. Um, but still, I didn't find it hard to use. It is nice and black. Um, it hasn't bled so far, so that's good. Um, so I'm impressed with it so far. I think it's pretty. I mean, I might have a little bit, I don't think this is bleeding from the liner. I think this was when I was applying it, I was kind of like smearing a little bit. So that happening right there, I don't think that's actual smudging. So, so far it seems like it's wearing well and it looks pretty and it seems overall pretty matte. It doesn't look really shiny or anything. So that's nice. And then I'm really excited about the last two things in my bag. So I got this, this is the NYX Whipped Foulette, Foulet, I don't really know. I just know the word whipped. That's the one that I can read. And this is in Pink Cloud. So this is a lip and cheek color. So I do have this on my cheeks with something layered over it and I also have it on my lips. I do have a lip liner um, just on the outsides for definition, but it's not really changing the color at all. Um, so when I first saw this in my bag, I was excited about it, but still like didn't know if I was really gonna like it because I remember swatching these when they first released, like Ulta had a display um, with some testers and I swatched them and I was like, oh, I don't really know about those, but I like this a lot. First off, it smells really good. Mmm. Like cupcakes or dessert or something. So, so it smells really nice. Um, and it's just good. Like it blended really nicely on the cheeks. It was pigmented, but not hard to blend. Good pigmentation and really cute color. I love it on the lips too. Like, I think it's a really nice kind of like light wash of color. Um, I don't think that I would like it like layered a lot of times because it doesn't seem like it necessarily like would be a formula that would maybe like layer on itself very well, but just a thin layer, I really like it. Like it's a pretty everyday color. This is a perfect thing to throw in your bag, take on vacation with you. You've got like both right there. So, this is really good and I think it's a fun kind of like girly sweet color. And lastly, the thing that I am most excited about probably from my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy is this. This is from The Balm. This is Balm Springs Long Wearing Blush. I really wanted to get this in the full size so I'm really excited to have it in this cute little size. I don't think this is the one that I bought. Did I buy Balm Desert? Did I just, did I just think about buying Balm Desert? I don't remember, but I don't think I have this one because this is the newest one. So it's still a good size to it and I was able to get my brush in there. So I do have this on over that um, kind of like cream blush and it is really pretty. It's just a really nice like, I mean, beautiful, perfect color. It's like a neutrally nude, but then it has a little bit of like pink peach in it. Oh my gosh, like perfect everyday blush color. Amazing. Really nice formula, blended well, these wear really well. So I'm super excited about this and adorable little packaging. Super duper cute. Love their little like designs and imagery. It's adorable. So I'm really excited about that. And that wraps up everything that I got in my Ipsy bag. So I think my Ipsy bag was really good this month too. I really enjoy everything in there. Wasn't able to try this, but I'm sure it's nice, so really enjoy my Ipsy bag as well. So if you wanna sign up for either BoxyCharm or Ipsy, I will leave my links down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my links, but if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your box or your bag, Ipsy or BoxyCharm, what you liked that you got in there. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.